Hi! In this video, we are going to look at using if-else statements. This is an if statement. The condition of the if statement, front is clear, checks whether there is a wall in front of Carol in the direction they are facing. In this case, the if statement will be executed because the condition, front is clear, is true, so Carol will move. If the front was not clear, the if statement is not executed, meaning that Carol would not move. But what if we wanted Carol to move if the front was clear, and to turn left if the front was not clear? This can be implemented using a structure called an if-else statement. Let's take a look at the syntax. To write an if statement, we wrote the if keyword, the condition followed by curly braces, and the code body, which is the code that is executed if the condition is true. To add code to be executed when the condition is false, we need to include an else statement. To write an else statement, we write the else keyword, curly braces, and another code body. This code body is executed when the condition is false. We say, if some condition is true, then we execute specific code. Otherwise, we have different code to execute if the condition is false. It's important to note that both blocks of code cannot be executed. Either the code in the if braces will run, or the code in the else braces will run. Let's look at an example. We can say, if the front is clear, then Carol will move. Else, Carol will turn left. But why might we want this? If statements and if else statements let Carol handle different types of worlds. We went from giving Carol very specific commands and solving only one scenario to now being able to solve more general situations with if statements and if else statements. For example, let's say we want Carol to complete one action in this world. The condition front is clear is false, so Carol will not move. But because we have an else statement as well, Carol will now turn left instead. Carol is able to complete one action whether or not the space in front is clear. So let's see some examples of writing if else statements in the editor. In this program, we have a for loop that is moving Carol across the world three times. So it'll be one, two, three. And if I run this, you can see that for loop move Carol. And what we would like to do is create an opposite world with the tennis balls. So every location where there is no tennis ball, we want to put a tennis ball. And every location where there is a tennis ball, we want to pick it up. And so this first spot will put a ball, the next two will take a ball, and the last spot will put a ball. So let's call a function every time that Carol moves called check ball. And we'll define the function here at the bottom, writing function and check ball. And we're going to start with an if statement. And the condition will be if no balls present, which in this case, if that is true, we want to put a ball. Now, if that is not true, meaning there is a ball present, we want to take a ball. So we have two options here. We're either going to put a ball or take a ball. All right, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so Carol successfully takes those two balls and then puts a ball at the end. But what we noticed is that Carol did not put a ball at the beginning, and we need a ball there in order to make it opposite, like we did at the end. So before we start the for loop in the first location, we need to call the check ball function so that Carol can either pick up or put down a ball at that first location. And let's run it again. Now we put a ball down, pick up those two, and put a ball down in that last spot, which is exactly what we want. And the great thing is, now we can change the world so it's slightly different, 
And our code should be general enough that we can make it opposite. Again, picking a ball up if it's present and putting a ball down if it's not.